Spiders have venom and that venom kills. Here, I'll tell you which ones kill more efficiently. The world's most venomous spiders. Number 10, Western Black Widow. The Western Black Widow lives in North America and can be found in forests and swamps. There, you'll see it in the middle of its web, always upside down, waiting for an insect to fall into its trap of powerful adhesives to extract their fluids. When it comes to bites, females are more dangerous because they are larger and have fangs that can easily penetrate human skin. Their venom acts as a neurotoxin, causing symptoms that typically include muscle stiffness, sweating, and nausea. Number 9. European Black Widow The European Black Widow, as its name suggests, inhabits Europe and Central Asia, where it primarily feeds on grasshoppers. It's easy to recognize because it has 13 red spots on its back. Yes, the number associated with bad luck. And it's indeed bad luck to get bitten by it because its bite is extremely painful, although rarely fatal. However, in Kazakhstan, there have been reports of it biting and killing camels with a single bite. And in Ukraine, field workers are bitten repeatedly. Number 8. Six-Eyed Sand Spider the six-eyed sand spider lives in South Africa. This spider uses its skin color to camouflage itself in the desert sands. If you manage to identify it, you'll see that its legs don't raise its body like other spiders, but are arranged to its sides like a crab. Its venom has hemolytic effects, meaning it destroys red blood cells, as well as necrotic effects since it causes the destruction of tissues around the bite, resulting in severe or even deadly wounds. Number 7. Chilean Recluse Spider The Chilean Recluse Spider gets its name because it hides in hard-to-reach cracks in houses. It is native to South and Central America, but can be found in some areas in the United States, like Los Angeles or Florida. Its venom causes necrosis, which, like I said before, is the destruction of tissues. This is because this spider contains enzymes that kill anything with proteins like flesh. These enzymes are also 10 times more intense than hydrochloric acid burns, or 15 times more potent than a cobra bite. The bite can leave wounds measuring up to 9.8 inches in diameter and gangrene. But that's not all. Its venom attacks the liver and gallbladder, while the massive destruction of red blood cells clogs the kidney ducts and leads to kidney failure. All this ultimately leads to death. Number 6. Redback Spider this dreaded venomous species is native to Australia. Its body can reach up to one third of an inch in diameter. Redback spiders are known for biting in the male genital area because of their habit of building their webs in latrines. On the bright side, the wounds caused by their bites don't result in gangrene. But the problem is that they can be lethal. Newborns can die on the same day they are bitten, but adults can agonize for 30 days before dying, going through seizures, edema, coma, and respiratory failure. Number 5. Noble False Widow The Noble False Widow is native to the Canary Islands, but came to the United Kingdom in a shipment of bananas, and from there spread throughout Western Europe. It has also been found in Mexico, Chile, and the United States. For all these reasons, it is considered an invasive spider. Identifying them is easy. They have a brown body with cream-colored spots. Their venom contains the toxin alpha-latrotoxin, which creates pores in neurons, leading to the leakage of neurotransmitters, paralyzing the nerves, and causing neuromuscular paralysis. Number 4 brown recluse spider. The brown recluse spider inhabits the United States and typically prefers secluded areas in homes, such as corners, garages, or high shelves. While this prevents humans from seeing them constantly, interactions often happen, and bites occur when a person puts on clothing with the spider on it, or a shoe with the spider inside. In both cases, the spider will bite when pressed against the skin. 
37% of the bites cause necrotic symptoms, which means that the skin around them will start to rot, and eventually an ulcer up to 10 inches long will be formed. Unfortunately, 14% of those bitten will experience systemic symptoms that can lead to death. These symptoms include hemolysis, which is the bursting of red blood cells, ultimately overloading the kidneys. Number 3. Southern Black Widow. The famous Black Widow lives in the United States and Mexico. It is easily recognizable by the red hourglass-shaped mark on its back. The name Black Widow comes from the female's habit of eating the male after mating. Although the male can sometimes survive, he mostly stays with the female to be consumed, ensuring she is well fed for egg-laying. The Black Widow's hunting method involves waiting for its prey to fall into its web, shooting silk to immobilize it it further, injecting it with its potent venom, and then inoculating it with powerful gastric juices to start breaking it down even before consumption. Those bitten by the Black Widow experience extremely intense pain, while their central nervous system is paralyzed, leading to neuromuscular paralysis. If these symptoms are not treated, they may eventually die. Number 2. Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian wandering spider lives in South America, especially in banana plantations. From March to May, these spiders are very active, and it's when that most of the bites occur. Most victims are farmers, but some spiders have made their way to the United States and the United Kingdom in banana shipments. This spider's bite is excruciatingly painful and its venom contains six neurotoxins that attack nerve connections, resulting in loss of muscle control, respiratory problems, and paralysis. Additionally, there may be other symptoms, such as priapism, tachycardia, or fluid accumulation in the lungs. All these damages can lead to death. And now, here it comes, the most venomous spider of all. Number one, Sydney Funnel Web Spider. This spider holds the Guinness World Record for being the world's most venomous spider. It is quite bold, so when it feels threatened, it stands on two legs and shows its fangs as a threatening sign. These fangs are so large that can penetrate a fingernail. In this species, males are often more dangerous because they are 30 times more venomous than females. The effects of their venom start to be felt in just two minutes and can include nausea, vomiting, sweating and shortness of breath. From there, more severe symptoms follow, such as hypertension, pulmonary edema, involuntary muscle contractions and coma. Death can occur anywhere from 15 minutes to three days after being bitten and is caused by low blood pressure, respiratory paralysis, or cerebral edema. It was indeed a venomous video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I have much more venom for you. See you in the next video.